Hello, welcome back to TCG Dreamland Collector Booster Box. And there will be a giveaway. Make sure to say that before I forget. Or if anyone just skips the intro or whatever. Alright, so the way I do it is that the best pull in the set, or the best pull of the box, I should say, will be... A giveaway prize! All you have to do is comment down below and about five or six days after this video goes live, I choose a winner. So, hopefully we get something good. The textured foils are in less than 1% of booster packs. And also, I believe these are Japan printed. So the hit should be right in the front. We got Imps Mischief. That was our... Good foil, Leyline Dowsing, Jace Awakened, cool. Mythic. All right, Stingerback Terror. And then they should just be like foil uncommons from the breaking news. And then after the land, it's just commons and uncommons. So I'll just kind of go through those a little bit quicker. All right, bulk off to the side. Not a bad first pack. Every pack has at least five cards of Rarity Rare or better. That pack had one Majestic in it. Smuggler's Surprise, the old Trojan Horse. All right, Mana, wow, Mana Drain. Very nice. That is definitely a contender for top hit of the box if we don't get a Gilded Foil or a Textured Foil. All right, Savvy Trader. Stingerback Terror again, but in extended art. Something that's interesting about this set is the extended arts are only available in the collector boosters, which is kind of weird. Not sure why they made extended art versions exclusive, but not like the borderless versions. Kind of weird. But uh, yeah, there's some good stuff. There's there's like five subsets. This product is made up of like five different sets. Villainous Wealth. We Ride at Dawn for Commander. Pest Control. There's the big score. Oh, and a Transmutation font. Wow, two Mythics in that pack there, both from the big score. Interesting. All right, Hindering Light. Planes and the Commons and Uncommons. Yeah, it seems like Wizards has been doing that now for every standard set because the standard sets would not sell by themselves. So they've been putting reprint subsets in every set. Ooh, Notion Thief. That is a special guest. And the special guests are always foil in collector boxes. Very nice. I'll have to look that one up. That could also be a good contender, possibly. I'll have to look it up. All right, Transmutation Font, another one. That's our second one. Very cool. Nice border on those. That's a big score card there. All right, Savage Smash times two. That was interesting. All right. Next pack, chugging right along. Yeah, I actually pulled up a couple of the subsets so I could, like, check to see which ones are good. Which one I should use for the giveaway. If you want to comment what card is the best in the box, that's an easy way to just get your comment down, get your entry into the giveaway. We've got Grindstone. Very cool. Foil Mythic Grindstone. We're getting a lot of Mythics. Void Rend. Eris, Roar of the Storm, another mythic. That one's for Commander. Wily Duke, Satoru, and then the Uncommons. And nice looking island there. All right. Oh, a loan shark. And it's like an actual shark. That's funny. That's like the kind of thing that they have in Infinity where they have like funny pun cards. Man, these are not wanting to open. There we go. All right. 
Next pack we've got, ooh, that's a nice foil treatment. The foil treatment on these is a little bit different. These are the wanted poster cards. This one's just a rare Sutoru the Infiltrator, which actually we just got a second ago, but it was in a regular version. But uh, yeah, the foiling on that, you can see, it's got kind of a little bit of a waviness to it. It's got some, you know, some uh, good stuff, some uh, accentuation. Grindstone, and is that another one we did? We got two grindstones, one in foil, one in non-foil. Angel of Indemnity, Smuggler Surprise, World Walker Helm, another mythic. We are getting... So many mythics. I guess when there's so many subsets and you have a chance to get mythics from all of them, I guess that means you just get a lot of mythics in your box, apparently. So we are already at like 10. We are already at 10 and we've only gone through half the box. Wow. Are there, is there just going to be like 20 mythics in Outlaws of Thunder Junction collector boxes? That would be pretty insane. All right, next... We've got Primal Might and Skull Crack, Dream Thief's Bandana, Pitiless Carnage, Vault Born Tyrant. Nice. I think I had one of those in the bundle that I opened. And back for more Mountain. Fake your own death. Interesting. All right, so moving right along, making decent time here. See if we can get something better than Mana Drain. Void Rend, not bad. Very nice foiling. Very nice on foiling on these breaking news cards. Looks very nice. Another Mythic for Commander, Stella Lee Wild Card. Was that like 12 mythics now? Blooming Marsh. All right, Tyrant Scorn. Skewer the Critics for the Uncommons. And there you are, Jailbreak Scheme. All right, we've got four packs. Third of the box remaining. All right, bada bing. Ooh, very nice looking. Harvester of Misery. Not sure if the camera does these justice. These cards are very good looking with the new borders. So that is a foil of the big score version. All right, Eye and Eyes, back in town. Gold Vein Hydra. Man, this is, there's too many mythics for the playmat now. Holy cow. All right, Marchessa, Dealer of Death. We've got Skewer the Critics and Tyrant Scorn for the uncommon breaking news. Dead Eye Duelist. All right, Campbell, Profiteering Mayor. Uh, Archive Trap, Forger's Foundry, Harvester of Misery in a non-foil this time. We got a foil and a non-foil one. That's interesting. Bada bing, bada boom. So many mythics that we're getting them in foil and non-foil of the same version. All right, Heartless Pillage. Let's go through the commons and uncommons real quick. Still two packs. We could still get something incredible. Uh oh Come on, there we go. All right. Treasure. They're all treasure. They're all treasure and then something else on the other side. Final Showdown. Very nice. Extended Art Mythic, which are only in collector boxes. Anguished Unmaking. Another Mythic. Double Mythic Pack. Very nice. Embrace the Unknown. Seraphic Steed. Roxanne, Starfall Savant, Terminal Agony, and Ride Down for the breaking news. Bandits Hall, that's cool. 
Skullduggery. It's an interesting word. All right, last pack. All right, what do we got? Magda, the Horde Master. And Surgical Extraction. Nice reprint. Discreet Retreat. Botanical Sanctum. Nice. Rare land. Uh, all right. Not great. Tiny Bones the Pickpocket. Very cool. Very nice. Yet another mythic for the pile. We have a huge pile of mythics. All right, so that was it. No textured card for us, unfortunately. No raised foil either, so you don't get a raised foil in every box either. So, holy cow, this is a lot of mythics. Let's just go through. And I should mention that the full set has not... Uh, or I should say, on TCG Player, not every card is showing. Because they are still in pre-sale at the time of this recording. So... Let me know, as far as I know, off the top of my head. I haven't looked up every card, so I don't know for sure off the top of my head, but I think this Mana Drain is probably the best card in the box. Here's the others for you. Notion Thief, Gold Vein Hydra, Final Showdown Foil, Stella Lee, Anguished Unmaking, Vault Born Tyrant, Transmutation Font, Pest Control, World Walker Helm, whoops. Eris, Roar of the Storm. Tiny Bones, the Pickpocket. That one's cool. Grindstone in Foil. Very nice. Jace, Reawakened. Transmutation Font, Non Foil. Harvester of Misery, Non Foil. And then we got a Harvester of Misery in Foil. And a Grindstone, Non Foil. All right, so let me know in the comments which card is the best. Otherwise, this will probably be our giveaway card. It's not bad. Nice $35-ish card. All right, so make sure to subscribe so you know when I post videos. There's a giveaway in every video from now on, and I'll see you guys in the next video.